Today's presenters are Brian Hins with Apex IT and Bill Laffey with Oracle. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us today. The floor is yours. Thank you, Margaret. Hello, everybody. This is Brian Hins with Apex IT. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about building student relationships with Facebook. <clears throat> Our agenda today is talking a little bit more about how students find answers. This could be a quick uh, slide deck, and then we're going to get into a demonstration by Bill. In short, this is a discussion and demonstration uh, between Apex IT and Oracle to really provide you guys examples of how other institutions are providing self-service to their students and their constituents through Facebook. Technology has really changed how we interact with each other. Social is increasingly becoming a platform of choice for constituents and it has a profound and transformative effect on students' institutions. And this will only increase. It has upended the traditional marketing paradigm and underscored its importance for every student-facing department and application across the enterprise. Social is actually a disruptive technology that holds powerful possibilities for organizations across the entire constituent experience. If only embraced and integrated, Social, combined with cloud and mobile, will continue to transform communications today, tomorrow, and beyond. So how does social influence our behavior? It's simply increasing every single year on how we research, we shop, recognize brands, how can we make decisions, and in fact, in the last couple of years, it's even doubled. Facebook's one of the leading social sites on where people go to get information. As you can see here, it's increased from 32% to 64%. And almost 50% of people said that they have a, that Facebook has the greatest impact on their purchases. It's pretty significant. Some additional metrics for you on this screen. 82% of colleges and universities use Facebook in their recruiting efforts. More than 50% also use Twitter and YouTube. So why the mass migration and adoption of social media in higher ed? Simply put, because this is where all the prospective students are. According to the McGuire Associate Survey, 39% of students have chatted online with enrolled students at an institution where they're interested in attending. You can see on the slide that it says uh, about 75% of students want to connect with students on Facebook. About half of those or so are actually doing this. In 2014, about 4 in 10 mobile users and nearly two-thirds of all smartphone users will be checking Facebook on mobile devices. In that same survey by McGuire and Associates, it reveals that about 93% of U.S. high school seniors use at least one of the three major social networking sites, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, a couple of times per week, and 58% of those students use Facebook at least several times a day. That's pretty significant. So why use Facebook for self-service? <clears throat> it's because that's where the students are, like I said before. Why not help them find the information they're looking for instead of having them log into a separate portal or maybe do a walk-up or call? So via self-service, they can now get information in off hours, on weekends, maybe holidays, things like that. They can service themselves. We call that tier zero resolution. So instead of calling, emailing, or walking up to get answers, you can improve retention and satisfaction by helping them answer their questions or even when they want it, where they want it. So we're introducing you to this, uh, to a product called Right Now CX for Facebook, which brings the full power of Right Now, it's an Oracle technology, to Facebook. That includes web self-service and knowledge base to help constituents find answers, crowd service, which is community discussions, peer-to-peer -peer support, rating and moderation, and agent assistance service, where students can ask questions directly. Self-service in Facebook is just a part of an integrated multi-channel solution that also includes web self-service, agent contact center, and knowledge base. It's a complete contact center, self-service, call center capability, or customer service, or student service capability that you can also use to service applicants or potential students, faculty, staff, uh, employees as well. So we're going to transition to a demo here and have Bill show you exactly how to do this. Let me give you control here, Bill. Bill, you should have control. 
Thanks, Brian. There we go. We can see it. Now. Can you see it? Great. Great. Hello, everyone. I'm Bill Laffey. I'm a solutions consultant with Oracle. Uh, before my position with Oracle, I worked in higher education for 14 years, all within admission offices, where I've led admissions operations and implemented a student system, document imaging, workflow reporting, and even a CRM system. I'm based in Fort Collins, Colorado, uh, which is about an hour north of Denver, where my wife and I are raising five kids. We often refer to it as we're raising a basketball team of children. Uh, and also where we're expecting tonight's Siberian freeze. Apparently, Siberia has decided to send their weather our way. Um, this should be an interesting next couple of days, especially with the shovel. Um, over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you three distinct sites. First, to really provide you with basic information of what are we talking about when we mention knowledge base and web self-service within the Oracle Right Now solution? What is, what is it? How could it look on your institution's website? What are the options that you have to configure the knowledge base and the web self-service to present to your constituents, your students, as well as your staff, your faculty, even um, alumni, anyone reviewing your institution's website? Secondly, I'll show you what that exact knowledge base and web self-service looks like in a Facebook development app site. And then finally, how we can take that Facebook development app site into a current university utilizing self-service Facebook and how it's presented within Facebook. So the first step to exceptional student experience is establishing a next generation knowledge foundation with analytics. That's right, with analytics. There is reporting that goes along within Oracle right now that allows you to report off of who is um, reviewing our answers. Are they finding our answers helpful or not helpful? Right now, Knowledge Foundation helps institutions deliver information constituents are looking at, looking for at any time day or night. This knowledge foundation enables the student or the staff member to find the information quickly and easily, which in turn makes the students more satisfied. It's dynamic knowledge that is always learning continually, which makes it a richer source of information for both students and end users. So let's take a close look at this knowledge foundation. So by clicking on financial aid, you can see that there are currently 13 answers tagged to financial aid. There are metrics to determine the answers that pop to the top, those that have been clicked on, and if folks provided feedback that the answer was helpful to them. But you can display, you can configure the displayed answers in other ways. Maybe you want the newest answers added to display at the top, or instead of displaying five at a time, you want to display 10, 15. So there's a lot of configurability in how you present the knowledge base in the web self-service to your constituents. At any point, they can type in a search. If the student has questions about admission, simply type admission, and then answers that are tied to admission would populate. So with dynamic knowledge, you can empower your students to find answers on their own eliminating phone calls and emails into your departments on campus. With, and I currently selected the FAFSA process 101 answer, you can, within each knowledge base answer, embed videos, links, even documents in an answer, so that the answers themselves can be dynamic. Now the student, after reviewing an answer, can also provide feedback on this answer, if the answer was helpful or wasn't helpful. You can allow the student to even say why this answer wasn't helpful, which also is information that can be reported on. So that the knowledge base is dynamic and constantly learning. Even associate other answers that folks have found helpful after they've searched on this specific answer. That's the process. So, Students can also ask a question. Now, this question can be very dynamic. Let's just look for financial aid. Hello, I would like to know more about the FAFSA process. You 
you can allow your constituents the ability to attach documents if you'd like. So that as I continue, what Oracle Right Now Solution has is something called Smart Assistant. We all know students do not search for components, features, information, anything on the web the same. They all do it differently. And Oracle Right Now understands that. And Smart Assistant is built in to Oracle Right Now so that they know that students may not go and search for the answer on them by themselves first. They may see the Ask a Question tab and say, yep, that's what I want to do. I want to ask a question. So that Smart Assistant reads the subject and the, te and the uh, text within the question and subject to see if there are any knowledge-based answers that best fit this question presenting that information to the constituents before they even have to submit their question. For our purposes today, we will finish submitting a question. Again, what we're doing is empowering the constituents to find answers on their own. Now, the constituent is then given a case reference number, an interaction reference number. And this is also emailed to the student as well so that they can have a case reference number in terms of their interactions with their, um, with their institution. Now, questions can also be dynamic and that you can have categories tied to them. It can be very specific. So this was a financial aid question. Maybe you want financial aid questions to go to somebody in financial aid instead of maybe a generic or general university um, queue. There are business rules that can route these questions to the specific and appropriate staff members at your institution, allowing the staff members to quickly and efficiently and effectively answer those questions for the student. Again, improving student satisfaction. Also built into the knowledge base and web self-service is the ability for students, and we've logged in as Brian Flynn, a student we'll be using today, um, to review all of their recently submitted questions. So there's a full history of all of the interactions that the student has with the institution. And whether they've been solved, whether they've not been not have not been solved. You can also allow, and this is configurable, if you want your students to be able to update their information. Do you want them to update this question? Again, attach additional documents. Um, that is completely up to you. But you have, and the student has, the full history of interaction, that full communication history um, between the student and the institution. Now, that's the basics of knowledge base and web self-service in those components. Now, let's look at a development Facebook app of the same knowledge base and web self-service that we just went through. This Facebook app will then be put into your Facebook page. So we have similar components, the same functionality, the ability to search for financial aid, the ability to look at other suggested searches. Click on FAFSA Process 101, the same answer that we reviewed in Web Self Service. The same ability to say yes. This is helpful, or no, this is not helpful. The same functionality to ask a question that's going directly to a staff member. And then the same functionality to review the account. Do a deep dive into each of the questions and interactions that the student has had with the institution. Now let's look at a current university utilizing this self-service and knowledge base within their Facebook. See how it's all tied together. So that I've logged in as Brian Flynn. And the institution that I've selected to review today is the University of Otago. Now, the University of Otago calls their page FAQ. You can call this something else. You can call it support ask our institution, whatever you would like. Now, as I click on Ask, ask Otago, brings me to the same information, the same Facebook app 
of the knowledge base and web self-service that we have just gone through. So now this gets to the configurability of how you, again, want to present your knowledge base and your web self-service to your constituents. The University of Otago decided they just wanted to present constituents with the ability to find answers. They didn't want to have the ask a question or the student account login, which is completely fine. This is how they want to present their knowledge base and web self-service to their students. This is your Facebook page. And you decide how you would like to configure this for your constituents, what you want them to have access to, and what you don't want them to have access to. So the same functionality, again, within Facebook exists to search the knowledge base. So if a student's interested in applying, you can simply select Applying to Otago. Now, the student can easily select that appropriate link for the information that they're looking for, and then even drill down further. So again, you decide what information you want to present to your constituents within Knowledge Base and Web Self-Service. Each Knowledge Base answer can have links, um, web um, um, documents, or videos presented to your constituents. So that from here, Brian can review the overall enrollment process at the University of Otago, as well as even starting to fill out an application for admission, all from within Facebook. So why use self-service for Facebook? As Brian mentioned, with over 1 billion active users and growing on Facebook, instead of just having your knowledge base and your web self-service on your website, you're bringing this foundation to where your students are online for 20% of their time in social media. You're empowering your constituents to find information on their own. The ability to interact with staff from within Facebook and for the institution to have complete visibility into those interactions. And we're talking about students today, but this also goes out to your faculty and staff, so you can have information about HR, your alumni, information about how they can donate to your institution, really the entire life cycle of a, of a student, from a prospective student all the way to becoming an alumni donor. So now I'm going to um, Brian back to control, uh, and we'll go through um, any questions that you may have. Thanks, Bill. Let me get it. So I believe it. Can you see my screen, Bill? Yes, Brian, I can. So I think you can submit any questions. Uh, Margaret may have to help me out here. You can submit, submit questions online through the WebEx portion. Yep. In the go to uh, meeting dashboard over on the right-hand side, there is a question box. 